Hello, good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name is Emma Stick Around for hauls and vlogs and chats. And we're back with another homey one. We've had a lot of homey videos. It's a lot of homey stuff going on. Um, this is going to be a, I'm going to pack the kids little Valentine's gift bags. I know Valentine's will have already happened, but I'll show you the process. I know what that message is and I'm going to tell you. No, it's not from Gary Barlow. I'm going to tell you what that message is in a bit. Also, I've started to get stuff ready for our New York trip. <laughs> It's Stephen, and you're going to be like, oh, Emma, what have you done? Um, for our New York trick, so I started to get stuff like snacks and also stuff for the kids' bags. So I'll show you some of those. I'm going to start packing toiletries, and then the next video will be a full family pack with me. I'll be packing for me, um, Ethan, as soon as he's done packing, and Erin's going to do her own packing as well. But I will be packing things like thermals and gloves and stuff, um, because, you know, she's... She's 12 now and she wants, I'm looking at the window and there's the condensation. Do you get loads of condensation in your house, please? Maybe she'll let a bit of air in. The windows have gone a bit, you know, and they have a little, like a little bit of that black mouldy stuff on. Um, not mould, you know, like the condensation grubbiness. I need to get a wipe on it. Anyway, let me explain to you why Stephen is messaging me. Emma, Emma, Emma. This is not the first time we've seen like this from Emma, and this probably won't be the last, sadly. So, um, this does not sound very romantic, but just embrace it. Stephen is a very, very, very hard to buy presents for. I buy him clothes, he won't wear them. Shoes, he won't wear them. Wallets, he won't use it. He doesn't like romantic stuff like photos or anything like that. So I was like, right, for Valentine's Day, just send me a couple of things that you might quite like as a little, like a little treat. And he wants to get back into golf. I bought him hair, a golf caddy. Bought him a golf caddy for Christmas. He sent me the link for a golf glove. They just wear one glove, evidently. I didn't know that. Maybe some of you are golfers and you know. I've just opened to wrap it. Lovely. It's a women's glove. Women, large women's right golf glove. Happy Valentine's! And I just sent a message saying, uh, you sent me the link to a woman's glove. I'm sure, how much was it? I'm sure I'll be able to take, I'm sure, I hope I'll be able to exchange it. I'll, um, it was £13.50. I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to exchange it, won't I? I'll send it back or do something. So, <laughs> not my fault this time, is it? It's not my fault this time. Usually I buy wrong socks, but he sent me a link to the wrong glove. Okay, the first thing I think I'll do is I will set you up and show you some of the bits that I bought for Valentine's Day and some of the bits that I have bought for New York. Um, let's do Valentine's Day first. Okay, a little funny angle. I've been hanging my... um. Look guys, let's be honest, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this, but apologies if this is TMI, I have um, been diagnosed, I am perimenopausal, fun fun fun, so I am starting HRT in the next week, and part, one of the problems with being perimenopausal, you get brain fog. So sometimes I randomly forget words and randomly forget things. So if I go like, um, I forgot the word for bag, or you know, I order the wrong size socks, or I bump into a stationary wall whilst I'm driving. I mean, most walls are stationary, you hope. So, not fun. It's been a bit of a funny week. Uh, I'm really hoping this helps me deal with some of the kind of things that have been going on behind closed doors. So for example, the brain fog, um, anxiety, nervousness when driving is really common. I can be quite clumsy, just lots of symptoms. Obviously I was allergic to the rats, even though I had pet, pet rats, so allergies is one of the things. And then I became asthmatic. So it's just been a whole heap. So I'm really hopeful in the next few months that things will start to change and then that may give me more confidence to go to more events and, and situations like that and I can take you with me because I have been a bit insular. So, uh, anyway, I don't want to get upset. We're going to 
chat about Valentine's. Somebody outside is having a disco in the car, so apologies if you can hear that. Okay, so for the kids, they've just got a little bag each. They're here. And it's got a card in it from me and Stephen. It's got some love hearts, which you will have seen before. And then I picked up some of their favourite sweets, which I thought would be really nice. Erin is obsessed. Remember I mentioned with Crazy Skittles? So I got her Crazy Sour Skittles Squishy Clouds. I don't like these. I know she like. I don't like them. I don't like the texture. And then Crazy Skittles Giants, which she loves. And you know, she's got like a little fridge in her room. Even though you don't really need to keep Skittles in the fridge, but sometimes she keeps little sweets in there. Also, um, these were two for one pound, so I picked up some orange Smarty Buttons. I think they were two for a pound because they run out of date this month, but they'll be eaten. And then uh, two packs of stickers for a pound. So I got her some little bows, which I thought was really cute, little hearts. And for Ethan, he had the Smarties, and then Sour Patch Kids, he loves those. I've gone for... My mouth started watering when I was thinking about Sour Patch Kids. So Sour Patch Kids and also Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. And for his stickers, I just went with these emojis. Somebody's playing their music so loud that I even thought, is it me? Have I accidentally put the music on downstairs? Is it Margot? Has Margot accidentally put the radio on? Who knows? So I've got those, they've got a card each, and then I'm gonna delve into there. Do you remember ages and ages ago, was it last year, was it the year before, I bought a box of like eight Squishmallows and was, my plan was to distribute them for like Easter and things, and then I forgot about them. So in there, there's like a few Squishmallows. So I'm gonna get those out and give them a Squishmallow each as well. And that's it, just a little, cute little token of our love and appreciation. I put bung up a few decorations. I'll make them a nice breakfast and we'll have a little breakfast together. Uh, all right, we're gonna drive my daughter into school so she can get in um, school a bit later. It's just a little tradition. I don't know if they, I'm sure they appreciate it. I'm sure they think I'm bonkers and I am. Right, let's go pop that away. Oh, these. I did show you, these are from Pound Stretcher, but it's not called Pound Stretcher where we are, but the bag says, it's bargain buys. Hanging dehumidifiers have changed my life. That should be the title of my autobiography. I have two of these hung up in the room where we have our tumble dryer, and I should probably have it up in here by the looks of it. And it, it they are amazing. And these were on offer, like, I don't know, two for one pound 50 or something. So good. I've got fresh linen. There's also a peony smell. And when I was speaking to the woman on the till, because as you know, I speak to all shop assistants. You're a shop assistant. You ask me how I am. I'm going to tell you. I'm going for the menopause. <laughs> and she hangs them on her curtain rails as well. And she was like, oh, aren't they brilliant? And I was like, yeah. So they're fab. Right. Put the Valentine's stuff away and then I'll show you the New York stuff. Music's still blaring. Um, I got some stuff for their bags. I wonder if this year will be the last year of me packing stuff, like little activities for the plane. Could you let me know? Uh, those who've got pet, uh, kids who are a bit older, um, I'm sure I'll always be like packing snacks and like, like nice little bits, but do I just stop getting little activities? Let me know, I don't know. I'm new to this having teenagers, tweenagers. So I got them a pad each because they do, especially Ethan, love drawing. They love drawing. He loves just doodling and writing stuff in the plane. It's just one of these little things he really likes. And I got one for Erin as well. I got them a pack of highlighted scented. These were... I've never heard of this brand. Colours. But they're uh, neon clip highlighters. They're scented. I've tried to do the Let's Share. I've tried to do the Let's Share with the kids before on the plane because I always sit in between them. No. 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 So I got um, them one each. I also... This is called Fidget Pop Blocks. And they love stuff like this, so I thought they could just... 
I just like them to have something when they get on the plane and we take off and they, I can just go, right, look in your bag now, get out, whatever. And they like little bits like this. So I thought that was good. They will both take their tablets. I'm sure Erin will have loads of music downloaded on her phone. So she'll be listening to that. And hopefully they'll watch films and just have a nice little chillax. <laughs> I'm saying that. That, that, I mean, that would be amazing on an eight hour flight. Actually, is it more than eight hours? I think it's it's one of those flights to New York. It's it's longer going there than it is coming back. It's only like six hours coming back, but going there, it's like over eight hours. Let me know the science behind that. I think it's something to do with like wind speed and stuff. Unsure. Right, I have decided because New York is going to be quite expensive for food. The pound's not very good at the moment and you don't get much, you know for your dollar book 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 for your bang bang for your book that brain fog's coming in strong we are going to take some breakfast stuff and we could buy this in new york but i just wanted something for the first couple of days because you're adjusting to the time difference and you want sink in your room really and also it'll give us a little bit of room in the case because we'll eat the food and if we buy anything we could pop it in that bit so your classic your nature valley your nature valley crunchy there are 20 bars in here great little breakfast snack great to put it in your bag if you're walking around do they crumble everywhere yeah they do but we do really like those lovely with a cup of tea oh i must pack tea bags we also i'm looking at this because i've eaten one <laughs> Yesterday I was having a cup of tea and I thought, oh, I really just fancy one of them. Some uh, little biscoffs, little packs of biscoffs. Again, great to nibble on. I might even put one of these in the kids' bags when we're on the train, just if they, uh, the plane, just if they're a bit peckish. For the plane, as uh, well, no, for the holiday when we get there, I always like to have just some little sweet treats. We have some various things booked in, so when we're doing whatever we're doing, we can just go, oh, do you want a little bag of sweets? Just some Haribo. 11 bags so weird a funny number in it for the plane there and for the plane back obviously you need your lollies for when your ears pop so i will pack some in my holder which i will do a video on and then i'll pack these in the case when we come home another great little treat and me and steven we were like well, we love these just rice crispy squares again just to have in the bag and just drag it out like if we're walking around central park or just doing fun things we can just have a little bar but they do i mean it's new york they're gonna sell stuff there's gonna be like all this stuff over there but i just wanted a little bit um just to tide us over and then what else i just got wipes for the plane i like to wipe the tables and that lot so that's it really for the next video i will do like a pack with me i'll do um what's in our hold alls Holders, carry-ons and stuff like that. Uh, I'm excited. I need to go and find... Let me see if I can find the Squishmallows and I'll let you know. Because otherwise you'll be worrying, won't you? You'll be like, did she ever find the Squishmallows? I'm going to climb into the loft part of my office, which is so short. And I always bang my head on the top. And I'm going to see if I can find these flipping Squishmallows. Found it. We have got an avocado on toast, which I'm going to give to Ethan, and a little watermelon sugar. Hi. I'm going to give to Evan. Then I've still got three left. So I've got a pineapple, a sushi, and a burrito. Very nice. The sushi one, I might just have to keep myself because neither of my kids like sushi. I flipping love sushi. So maybe that sushi squishmallow could be mine. But yeah, this set was from Costco. Unsure when last year at some point, or was it the year? I can't remember. But um, I'm going to put it back. Or maybe they could be for little presents for other people. But yes. I was like, where is it? And I found it. You will not hide from me. Also, one thing I did chat about on my Insta store is this. <laughs> so we got this carpet done May 21. And then we never got the stairs done. Were well, we being a bit stingy? I don't know. But these stairs, I don't know if you can see, they're bright shiny emulsion and if the kids have to come up to print off like homework or whatever and they're running up and down in their socks the amount of time i've slipped down the stairs and you can see it's quite like if you slip down these you would be like hurtling 
they're steep, they're shiny, it's just no good. So I've actually ordered carpet and it's going to come in probably about three weeks. So we can have carpet up here and I feel so much happier because the kids can just run up and down and it's, oh, can you see how shiny it is there? Why was it painted like such a shiny white? So it's going to be um, like cushioned carpet. It doesn't, unfortunately, it won't match with this because this carpet has been discontinued, but we've got a very, very similar one. Thank goodness. That, look how, I've got long boots on today, guys. I've got big long socks on. Thank goodness I record everything so I could just go on my phone and be like, oh, it matches this colour. So, um, yeah, that's something really to look forward to. Adulting is, is mainly looking forward to slightly boring things that excite you. Like giant fleecy socks. Hello, my lovely ones. I need to just put a trap up. Let me shut the door. I can't, those dressing gowns. They are the bane of my life. Digga dong. Um, real honesty here. I was going to do this like intricate video where I was going to do X, Y, and Z, but you know what? What I talked about earlier, so with the perimenopause, and I'm staying at, starting HRT in the next few days. Uh, insomnia. You get very bad insomnia. And I have not been sleeping. And when I tell you I cannot string a thought together at the moment, I am hoping when we come back from our trip, um, everything starts to settle down a bit. But at the moment, you know, if any of you are watching this have had babies, remember those um, weeks where you wouldn't sleep? That is me now. I don't have a baby. I mean, I have Margot. I'm not have, I don't have a newborn baby, so... So I'm just going to show you the stuff I got from Primark. Um, I'm taking magnesium. I'm starting the HRT. I'm having... I've got eating primrose oil. I'm doing the walks. I'm not looking at um, social media before I go to bed. <laughs> doing all the things. I just hope this works. I will keep you posted, but yeah. So, I do apologise, it was going to be a big old, but it's not. I'm hoping I get a good night's sleep and then I can film the ultimate pack with me video. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that. Okay, so let's just show. I popped to Primark today because I was watching Brogan. Tate, who's just come back from Disneyland Paris, she did a Disneyland Paris pack with me. She packs like an absolute expert. If there was an expert for packing, it is she. She is her. And she showed um, some like uh, bralette things and I thought, I want that. And I messaged her and I was like, I want them. Are they good? And she was like, yeah. So I thought, I'm going to go and get them. So I did pop to Primark. I'll show you some of the bits and bobs I got. First of all, I am loving a slouchy sock at the moment uh, with my trainers. And I also love the colour pink. Well, that matches. So I picked up two pairs of slouch cosy socks for four pounds. Definitely my daughter will steal them. Let's embrace that. Really like them. And I like the little logo thing on it. I don't know why. I think it just makes them look like they're more expensive than they, they were. For the plane journey, uh, I like the kids to have cosy socks. I will probably put these on the plane home. It's overnight. So I got four pair of cosy socks. These will not fit Stephen because he has giant feet and he also is unlikely to change into a cosy sock. These are two pounds and also we are big cosy sock families. Most of us, in fact all of us have been known to sleep with socks on and before you naysayers get cross at me, oh no this one's got a bit of a pull in it. I'll, I'll have that pair. Um, sleeping in socks is, to, is supposed to help you sleep better. I don't understand, but it's science. I mean, it's not working for me. <laughs> Maybe I need to sleep in more socks. Ten pairs. I, we have a thing when we go to the airport. Because you know I pack the bags and I put like hand sanitizers, lip balms, different bits of things in different people's bags. I pack all the hand luggage. And then when we get to the airport, there's a massive panic because we have to get all the liquids out and it's just a whole hoo-ha. And last time one of the bags, I think it was mine, was kept back for the check because there was a random Bath and Body Works tiny uh, hand sanitizer. Also, I, I've been looking at Bath and Body Works online to see what offers because I thought, look, I'm not, not going to buy stuff in America if it's 
the same over here and to be honest the sprays the moisturizers they're just as good as here with the buy two get two free offer so i'm like the hand sanitizers however five hand sanitizers for eight dollars oh we definitely get a pack of them anyway i bought some see through makeup bags now i am fairly certain that we probably have to put this in one of the official poly pockets but it just means I'm going to use the middle one and any hand sanitizers, lip balm, anything like that is going to go like in that, in my bag. I can grab it out and either put that through or put it into the official bag and there's no panic. And also see-through bags are always really handy and I know my girl will want one of those. At some point, so that was £4 for three. I thought that was really good. I think I asked on Instagram, not on here, about sunglasses. And a lot of you said I'd be look at good and cat eye ones. So I got these. Oh my gosh, they're big. They're, they're large, but weirdly tight on my huge head. What do we think? £3.50? You can't, they used to come with a, first of all, they used to be £2.50 and they used to come with a case, didn't they? No more. Um, UV protection, category three. Maybe it'll be sunny. I don't know. Maybe I'll be walking around the streets of New York like that. New York! Hey, Sarah Jessica Parker. Probably. Probably not. I wanted to get my girl some leggings. She wears a lot of black leggings for drama. She has a few drama classes. And these are £2 each, 12 to 13. Just plain black leggings. She said yesterday she wanted to wear some on the plane. Um... It's her, her, her aesthetic, like mine. Boop. So I got her a couple of pair of these and I thought they're just, ha just handy to have in the house, aren't they? Uh, what else did I get? Now these, well, I'm not even sure if this is the exact one Brogan got, but I had a little look around and these looked just really nice. So these are three pack seam free wireless. And I thought these would be perfect for to wear under sweatshirts on the school run and when I go for like little walks, when we go traveling, if we're going in the car, long journeys. I've got extra large, which is 18 to 20. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they fit. I'm hopeful they fit. So I will try one pack on and then if they don't, I will, will take the other one back. But I've really got high hopes for these and then I will probably just wear wired bras for like more fancy like work occasions or if I've got like a, a nice like low cut dress on or something. I think it's gonna change my life. Or not fit. One of the one of the two, one of those two things is definitely gonna happen. Talking of black leggings, I grabbed myself a pair. Now I couldn't these the leggings I've got on here are from Primark and I couldn't find those ones. So I've got these, these were eight pounds XL workout and it's a, it's a nice material and I like it. it's got like a thick waistband which I can pull up. Once you wear maternity leggings, you can't go back to normal leggings. It's it's a crime because maternity leggings, I'd wear them now. I've, my youngest is 10. They are wonderful. In fact, I did wear my maternity leggings for a long time and then they got holes in the crotch. So I've gone for these. XL. Uh, hope they fit. Sure they will. And then I popped to Tesco actually to pick up some goodies for Stephen's Valentine's little bag because as we know I bought him the wrong size glove. But he went out yesterday with the kids to get a few things, aka panic buy me a Valentine's card. <laughs> and where he was going was a sports direct so he took it back and he managed to swap it for a glove and some socks. So he was really pleased. So he's got a golf club. And then I just thought I'd put these in as well. I'm going to run him like a bath and let him have like a pamper session. So I bought him a men's face mask, muscle therapy uh, bubble bath, and um, some orange chocolates. He loves orange chocolates. Thought those were really nice. And I'm going to pop, run him a nice bath, put some bubble bath in. I've got bath bombs downstairs. Have a face mask. Give him a nice drink. So tomorrow night he can, he can, night he can have a bit of a chill. And then I grabbed for the plane. Um, Aaron wanted to do like a little face mask on the plane. Do you wear makeup on the plane? Let me know in the comments. 
let me know in the comments because I don't really want to but then when I get there I know I'm going to want to have a nice photo <laughs> let me know let me know what you do but I have bought us some little eye sheet mask things Ethan won't be bothered about that and also they seem to still have like Christmas gift sets and I saw this and it was like you know clearance £2.25 and it's like four cute bubble bubbles and four cute little bands and I'm gonna put this in the box I'm, I'm starting to collect little stuff for stocking fillers and anything I see that's nice I'm just gonna pop in there like I bought some Bath and Body Works in the buy two get two three like hand lotion so anything like that I'm gonna pop in there that's my plan for the year and also I saw this this was another gift set and it was two for £12 and that is my favourite mascara. Should I Google it? I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it now and see that that wasn't cheap. Let's see how much you usually are. Lash. Whoops. Oh, God. Falling into things. I'm so tired. I fell down the stairs and falling into things. So, Lash Paradise. So it will be six pound each if this comes up and it'll be like that was two p. Um, no, it's not the same as it was. Why is it so hard just to find out how much mascara is? It's usually eleven ninety nine. I got two for twelve pound. What a day! I mean, it's, you can get it on three for two, but still, that's like getting buy one, get one free. The happiest day, and it is a great mascara as well. Lash Paradise, so I've got a double pack. That'll keep me going until the end of the year. The happiest of days. Right, there we go. I do apologise. I have been a bit all over the shop, um, and we've had quite a few, like, homey videos recently. But we're going to have a pack with me, then we're going to have a couple of New York vlogs. I'll do a fun unpack with me and then we will get into all the Easter um, shop with me. The Poundlands, the Home Bargains, not been to Costco for ages. All those good things are coming your way. It's just been a funny, a funny couple of weeks where I've been all over the shop. But I'm really hopeful that... Uh, I'm on the path to feeling a bit more myself. And if any of you have any, please, only positive, only positive. If you have any negative things to say about HRT or the perimenopause or whatever, today is not the day. Just pop it in and just shelve it and think, do you know what? I'll talk to her about that in, in a few months. But just positivity today. I can't, just positivity. Just positive vibes only. Right, I love you lots. Bye, guys.